Hello there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I want to look uh, at a question paper of cost and management accounting and five of November 2024. Uh, and we see that this question paper was written on 4 December 2024. So we are going to look uh, at evaluation of inventory. Uh, in particular, we are going to look at uh, using uh, the FIFO method, which is the first in, first out method. So remember, on the FIFO method, we say, uh, the first goods to be received are going to be uh, the first goods to be issued. That's uh, the concept of a first in, a first out. So uh, the question that we have uh, is question six on that question paper of November 2024. And since it's uh, limited to the following transactions uh, during June 2023 uh, regarding the inventory item, uh, this is for June 2023. So uh, June the value of the closing inventory is at 30 June 2023, that is 80 marks. So I'm going to our other section to see that uh, this is the six columns and uh, we put each um, Obviously, at the beginning uh, of our soft card, uh, we are going to have uh, the open balance, which we are going to get in the information given. Uh, so open balance is what the first count by five units at 800 each. So basically, uh, this is what we have at the beginning. So you have eight runs, uh, columns, so we are by your six, of which each is, is eight runs, which is eight comma zero zero. So if you say 500 people, we have 4,000. Uh, for uh, the eight uh, pitches, we've got a pitch the hundred units at seven hundred each. So this is going to come in the columns for uh, for our eight seven hundred each on the eight. So we're saying on the eight, and uh, for units we say hundred, and it's seven seven hundred seven over that. So basically, this is our what we have in terms of our uh, uh, receipts. Uh, and then we go now uh, to. Uh, the balance columns whereby balance we are saying uh on top of the open balance uh, we have received some uh, balances where which is an additional so it means on the balance we are looking uh, with h top of that uh, h7 so that's what we what what can pair was eight then go to the next steps so, so for each of the dates you have to show the balance of what you are having in stock or what you have in stock uh in the balance section so we are saying on the eighth uh we have 550 that we had in the beginning plus by uh, on the tenth Transfer uh, transfer units to the factor. So this is going to the issued columns. So uh, this is on the 10th, units. And remember, we are basing on the first in, first out. So I say uh, uh, the ones that are going out are the ones that we receive first. So what we receive first is what we had in the beginning. So we're going to take this period out of 500 feet. So uh, we come here and say on the, uh, on the 10th. So we go to the column for issued. So we are saying what is being taken out 320. And you see that 320 is out of 550, which is eight uh, pay uh, units, eight to get the total, uh, which is going to be 2,560. So basically, that's what we have on that part. And then I uh, will go to the balance now. So the balance, we are, we are saying we, we took 320 out of 550. So we are left with 550 minus 320. So uh, we get 230. So we have 80. Then on the total, we are not saying 230. That's eight, and we get 1,840. Then I uh, also have uh, the hundreds, uh, the hundreds uh, that I said them again. Hundreds, uh, each one seven, get a total of 700. So that's what we got eight. Then uh, on the 10th, that's what uh, we are having uh, on, the, uh, on the 10th. So uh, moving on now, uh, we go to the next uh, date, which is going to be on the 18th. Uh, there's an additional uh, uh, receipts, uh, uh, which we are saying bought 610 units. It's level so it's going in the column of receipts. Since we are receiving, as we are purchasing, that's the units that we are receiving. So it's on the 18, so we come in, uh, we don't say 18, and we receive 610. Uh, it's level rank each, so we are saying level. And then we say 610 times level gets 6,710. So this is what we have. So we go to the we go to the uh, columns for balance now. So on the balance, we still have the 230 that we had previously. So we have 230. Uh, it's eight. We made with a total of 1,840. And we still have this, uh, we still have uh, this 100. Uh, so we're saying 100. And uh, we seven. With a total of 700. And an additional of 610 that we've just uh, received. So it means uh, we have also 610, each one 11, 
the total of 6,800 and 10. So that's what we have on 80. Then we'll go to the next one, we have 90, uh, retain 180 units to be supplied because of uh, defects uh, in brackets received on 18 June 2023. So what is being retained is what June 2023 is here. So we're going to take this 180 out of 610. So we are going to the column for receipts where we have the 610. What they are, when we have retains, we go to the column where we exceed uh, those units. So on 18 June 2023, the 610 uh, we are having them uh, in this column. So that's where we are going to adjust uh, as a negative term because they are retained. So we are saying uh, the date is for the 19. So we are saying 19 in this uh, row. So 19 here. And we are saying uh, what is being retained is 180 units. So uh, we show 180. And we show in brackets to show that we are are subtracting so that they are returns and then uh, we are taking from 620 the price is level so we put again level uh it will say 180 times level uh you get uh, a total of 1880 which we show again is a is a negative so in brackets so that's what we have so all the columns now we are saying uh the 230 this one that we had previously is not affected because what has been taken is from 610, which is here. So 230 total affected, so we're going to uh, put it again here, 230, uh, 800, we'll get uh, a total of 1,840. And then we put our 100, uh, the total affected again, so we've added uh, seven uh, to get a, a total of 700. Then uh, the 610 is the one that we have 180 taken, so we're going to say 610 minus 180, and uh, we get a balance of 40. So we have 40. The pay unit will not change this level. If we say 430 times 11, you get 4,000. So for the 20 cents, issued 500 units to the factor. So we have 500 units that have been issued that are going out. Remember, first in, first out. Uh, we are now saying um, for the 20 cents. Out of 500, out of 500, uh, we can just uh, recheck 23 or 500 units issued. So we are saying out of 500, we are taking two texts. You know, first text out. So two texts were the best to be uh, received. So we are taking two texts. So uh, we are having two texts on the column for issue, which we are saying two texts here. Uh, and it's at uh, two thirty and eight. And get 1,840. But uh, when we take two thirds, we got 500, and we now have two thirds, which means we are left with 500 minus uh, two thirds. And we see uh, what, we, what we are left with. Whereby we say 500 minus two thirds. So we are left with 270. Uh, 270 of which from out of 270 uh, that are left, we take 100 from this one, uh, 100, it's 7, uh, giving us 700. So, still, if you take 100, uh, it means that uh, we're going to say minus 100 again, uh, we are left with 170. So, uh, we are now left with 170. So, this 170 will take all, all of them from 14 now. They are enough to be taken from 14. So, we say 170. Uh, 178, 48 is 11, so 11 here. So 170 times 11, you get 1,870. 1,870. So basically, that's what we have for that part. But we still have the columns for balance. So the column for balance, we are saying uh, the 170, we are taking it from, uh, from our 48. And now, uh, if we say 48 minus 170, uh, you get a balance of 260. So we it means we are left with 260 out of uh, 430. When you take 170 from 430, you are left with 260. And uh, the uh, price still remains 11. And we say 260 times 11, and you get 2860. So that's what we have on that part. So uh, we try to move on to the next one. Out of after 23, we have uh, 28. 
purchase better than the 80 units at 40 rand each. So these are additional uh, we are receiving. So we go to the receipts columns on the 28. Now we have 28, you can see. We received uh, 980 at 40 rand each. So we see 980, uh, 40 rand, which is 40 to 0.00. We multiply 980 times 40, it gives us uh, 18,720. So all the balance, uh, we now have our two CKC are still there, uh, two CKC at 11 uh, rand, uh, even a total of 2,860. Plus, plus what we have just received, which is 9,880, sorry, 980 at 40 rand, uh, with a total of 18,720. 18,720. So that's what we have on that one. Then we go to the last part where we have retained 100 units from the petrol. Remember, when we are retaining, uh, when we are on the 19th, we return to the supplier and we adjusted that in the column for receipts. So when we are retaining, uh, when we have got uh, returns from the factory, we adjust in the column for, for in the column for our issues. We can just take note of that. So what what are are, are being retained uh, from factory? Uh, 100 units, and we take uh, from the first uh, that we received. So we say uh, 100 units, that be it. Uh, we go to the, uh, we say that we say, uh, one. Remember our columns, uh, these are the columns for issue. This was as well, we go to the code when we have returned from factory, and we are saying, uh, we have got returns of 100. So we are going to uh, put 100 here and we put it as a negative. Remember, when we have returns, uh, we are supposed to show it's negative. So we are saying this 100, we are taking it from 260. There are returns of 260. So uh, the, pay, the price is 11. So we are going to say 11. 100 times 11, we get 1,800. 1, uh, and then on the balance, we have taken 100 from, uh, uh, we have, uh, we, we have returns that are coming from the factory. So remember, I could just check the terminology is the returns from the factory. So they're coming from the factory, going back up to uh to the seats. So it means they are we are going to uh they're going to increase the balance that we have for uh for the balance that we have uh here on this 260. So we are going to say plus 100, which is uh give which gives us a increasing case. So uh, let's just take note. Uh, if they are returns from factory, they increase uh, the, uh, the, the 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 balance. If they are returns from factory, they increase the balance. But if they are returns to supply, they reduce uh, the balance. We just take note of that. So uh, given that now, uh, we we now know that three sixty two uh, yes at uh, the uh, price of eleven. So we say three sixty times eleven, we get three thousand eight hundred sixty. So that's what we have on that part. Uh, and then uh, we are on the balance. If we have the 980, is what affected is 980. So we include it again here. It's uh, 14, uh, 14 months. And then uh, see we have 18,720. So having done that now, we now need the, uh, the total, uh, the value of course stock, which is going to be uh, in the last uh, in the last row there. So here we can just so that we are now showing the, the value of course of stock. Remember, uh, this is the valuation of inventory. So obviously we are going to have value of course of stock. So the description that we have there, we just say the value of course of stock. This is the uh, value of. So the value of course of stock, we are supposed to get the final balance on the last date. So the last date is date one. And on set one, we've got 3960 and we've got 3720 So just add the two, and then we get uh, the value of the closing stock. So uh, we add 3960 plus 18720 we get a total of uh, 17680 17680 So this is a uh, valuation of a closing stock uh, using fee for method. So we're saying uh, it's 17680 uh, B our value of our closed stock. So basically, this is what we case according to the uh, first in, uh, first out method or the FIFO method using 
are the top card. So basically, this was a question uh, from the question paper of uh, November 2024. Uh, hopefully, the video was helpful. Uh, let's not forget to subscribe and share. Let's uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, more typical examination questions will be uploaded on this channel. So let's stay tuned and let's get notified. We'll meet again in the next video.